Today on Breakthrough with Pastor Rod Parsley. Here's what Jesus said. If, if you're not born again, then you cannot perceive the kingdom. He cannot. Lest a man be born again, he cannot perceive the king's dominion. See, it's not just eternal life. I'm going to live in heaven. It is the life of the creator expressed through the creation. Then, 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 then the kingdom of God is expressed. And kingdom, of course, the king's dominion and an area where the king is sovereign. Where his decree is law. In the fullness of time, Jesus came to establish God's kingdom. In these perilous times, you have been born again as a child of the king for such a time as this. And you've been given dominion power to advance the glorious kingdom of God through the earth. Now... Watch this, watch this. I am crucified with Christ if I share with him in his death I share with him in his resurrection from the dead I have eternal life in the kingdom dominion power is the right of every believer and today pastor Parsley declares that you are a child of the king and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven now here's pastor Parsley can I just talk to y'all? I got I gotta talk to y'all. Some, sometimes, you know, I'm a funny kind of guy. I gotta I gotta talk something out. And the more I talk it out, the more I see it. And and usually I just talk it out to myself. <laughs> you got to talk to yourself. You no, you didn't. Where there is no vision. <laughs> the people cast off all restraint and run wild mm. Mm. you have many instructors oh god i'm getting uh, here and i'm just talking to you. you have many instructors but you have few fathers a, a father is one that begets no no you're born of a father Yeah, no, you're not. He brings you into a world <laughs> that you never existed in before. And without him begetting you, you could never get there. You are begotten. Just let me talk to you for a minute. You are begotten of the incorruptible seed of the word of God. So if you get a real word from God, then you are begotten again. Or you no no, or you are born again. The Bible said Jesus came in the fullness of time. Or another place it said he came in due season no, 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 no. women understand what is due season due season is when you about to give birth no. and, and Jesus came when the Greek language was perfected and the Greeks unlike English which has three verb tenses past present and future the Greek language has six verb tenses how many didn't know that aren't you glad you came this morning I'm just talking to you now touch somebody tell me you're just talking to us I'll let you sit down here directly but uh, it's a little easier for me to keep your attention when you're standing up you how many verb tenses has English how many verb tenses has Greek when did Jesus come? In the fullness of time. In due season. And say, Jesus came in the fullness of time 
In due season, everything was right. Everything was perfect. The contractions were just right. The upheaval in the earth was just perfect for something that had never been here before to show up. I'm up here on this mountaintop and I'm seeing something. I see, I'm seeing something over here. No, touch somebody and tell them he's seeing something. That, that's what the prophetic unction is, you understand. It's seeing something. And sometimes you can't really tell exactly what it is yet. You just got to start moving toward it. And the closer you get toward it, the more it begins to materialize it. Can I tell you that God wants to impregnate you with a vision of your future that you can't even handle yet? No, I need shouting in here. I need shouting in here. I said, I said, I need shouting in here. Because when everything gets right, see, when everything gets right, when everything gets right, you ever been in a birthing room? There ain't none of this going on. Let me tell you when you're ready to give birth, when you feel like you're about to die. When you feel like I ain't going to get through this. When you feel like I can't make it, something got to happen. I can't handle this anymore. About to lose my natural mind. reason he gave you that miracle that you're still shouting about today is so that you can catch a glimpse of the next one that's why you're so uncomfortable there's a change coming shout transition shout transition touch somebody and tell them excuse me while I change Excuse me while I take off that old worn out anointing. Excuse me while I exchange my praise. Excuse me while I change my vision. Somebody shout. Somebody shout for the change that's coming to America, for the reformation that's just about to come. You don't quite know how to act because you ain't been this way before. You don't really even know how to shout up in this thing yet because you ain't ever been right here before. Now, but stop now. I'm, 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 I'm talk to you. I'm going to talk to you a minute. i just talk to you a minute. I got this. Yeah, see, you even missed that. I said, I just got to talk to you a minute. I got to say something in here that ain't ever been said before. Because if I don't say it, then the seed won't come. And if the seed don't come, then you can't get impregnated. But if the seed comes and you get that seed attached to your spirit, then you get pregnant with something you ain't been pregnant with before yet. And it ain't going to take no nine months to give birth to this. Some of you are going to get pregnant with it and walk out of here carrying your miracle today. I ain't left you. I ain't left you. I 
I got to talk to you a minute. Jesus came in the fullness of time. Fullness of time. And he came in. And we speak English. And it has. Th th but, but, but he came when the Greek language was. Uh, has six verb tenses. See, you think. that you that you were born again if I just go like this now touch, touch somebody, touch somebody. you were not born again because when Jesus spoke to Nicodemus He didn't use past, present, or future. He used what the Greeks call, I believe, the aorist tense, which is a progressive. <laughs> I got to talk to you. <laughs> I got to talk to you. Touch some, just touch somebody right now and tell them, uh, excuse me, but I'm about to move. <laughs> I'm about to progress. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to move forward. Just, just reach around there behind you and wave. Come on, read it. Right. See ya. You say, what am I waving to? Turn around there and wave. Turn it. Say, what am I waving to? The old you. I gotta talk to you. Stop it! I gotta talk to you. So, 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 so say, 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 I wasn't born again. See, see, because you're in the progressive present tense. That means you ain't even got no past. Uh, let's see how this fallen bunch of mortals can get this. Just reach out and say, I gotta get this. Do it again, I gotta get this. I can't miss this. I gotta talk to you. I gotta talk to you a minute. Okay, okay, okay sit down. I gotta talk to you. I gotta talk to you just a minute. I gotta talk about this. I gotta talk about this. I gotta talk about this and every word I say is a seed and and you become impregnated with every word and and that word causes a birthing on the inside of you so that, so that be, be even less than a split one millionth of a second you're being changed every every moment you're being changed right now you're being changed you I'm not who I was when I walked in this room No, see, I, I got to get you. You can't perceive it yet. See, I'm not, see, here's what Jesus said: If if you're not born again, then you cannot perceive the kingdom. He cannot, lest a man be born again, he cannot perceive the king's dominion. Got to talk to you a minute. Turn your Bible. Okay, John. John 3. Okay. Okay, so Nicodemus comes to Jesus, right? And talk to me. I, I said Nicodemus comes to Jesus, right? I'm in John 3. Yeah, talk to me, because I gotta talk to you. You gotta talk back to me. 
the, a man named Nicodemus came to Jesus, a ruler of the Jews. He was a rabbi, and 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 and, and he Jesus, what do I do? What what do I do? He said, What do I do? Jesus answered and said, Truly I say unto you, except you be born again. So, 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 so the way you would actually read this is, except a man be continually and consistently born again. Or, or you could say it this way, unless a man be born again, 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 unless a man be born again. How do you think God gave you eternal life? See, it's not just eternal life, I'm going to live in heaven. It is the life of the Creator expressed through the creation. And when the, and when the creation encounters the Creator, and when the person perceives the purpose, and the man meets his moment, then, 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 then the kingdom of God is expressed and kingdom of course the king's dominion and an area where the king is sovereign where his decree is law oh man oh man oh man wait i gotta talk to you a minute uh, uh, watch this watch this watch this watch it touch your neighbor say watch him watch him right now watch him right now watch him watch him watch him because i'm i'm going to psalm 2. why do the people why do the heathen rage? Why do the people imagine a vain thing? The rulers of this world, they set themselves against the Lord, against His anointed saying. God, 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 watch this. Against His, not against His anointed, comma, saying. No, against His anointed saying. I got to talk to you. I got to give you an anointed saying. And the world, everything, watch, 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 everything outside the kingdom sets itself against the anointed saying. Again, against, against that impregnating seed of a word spoken in season that then begets us begets us again so somebody tell me i gotta have a word i can't i can't live without a word i die you, you don't understand without a word you 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 stay back in that moment and the kingdom moves on but if you get a word Then, 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 then you get born again of that anointed saying. They say, they say, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. See, see, because the kingdom is advancing into their territory. And they say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, see you've been trying to get free from the devil. What you don't understand, the devil been trying to get free from you. He's been saying, let me do what I want to do, but you get a word. And that word bursts you into a moment that he can't get to yet. And so when he grabs for you, whoop. I got to talk to you a minute. I got to talk to you a minute. I got to talk to you a minute. See, you got to be born of God. They took him out to the brow of the hill. Going to throw him over the brow of the hill. Throw you over the brow of the hill. And one, and two, and where'd he go? See, your Bible says there is a place. 
watch this, watch this. There is a place that you can get to where? In God. In God. Born of God, in God, in that moment that you can't talk about it now because when you talk about it, it's already past. You got in God who is I am, who never leaves the present tense. Where the evil one touches you not. The actual translation is cannot grasp hold of you in the beginning was and the word was God and the word I don't mean none to you. Let me see, let me see this right here. Watch this. Watch this right here. The same word was in the beginning with God. Okay, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men his life in men his life in men look what it says next look what it says next get ready to shout get ready to shout here it is and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness could not grasp hold of it I dare you to shout you can't touch this See, cause, cause darkness can't get a hold of light because darkness is not life. The life of God consistently remains in the present tense and darkness is always one step behind. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you. That's why you can't stop the truth. I'll talk to you, man. That's why you can't stop the church. Now you can stop religion. But you can't. No, 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 I'm going to say it another way. Because church is a terrible word. Church, I, I can't talk about that right now. That's a terrible word. I don't even, I don't even know if we ought to use that word. This is kingdom. See, when, when I say church, you think about this religious organization. But when I say kingdom, you think about a nation, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. You didn't hear what the Holy Spirit just said. That you might... First Peter 2 9 show forth the praises watch 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 of him who hath called you out of darkness and permanently into light now touch somebody and tell them you can't touch this you can't touch this you can't stop it you can't block it you can't hinder it you can't delay it you can't deny it you can't detour it you cannot stop it Coming up on Breakthrough, from World Harvest Church in Columbus, Ohio, Pastor Rod Parsley continues his exciting message of overcoming victory, born to the kingdom, for such a time as this. Friends, please, don't let our brothers and sisters in Sudan die this Christmas. God's people in Sudan have suffered for over 20 years at the hands of a terrorist regime simply because they named the name of Jesus Christ and they will surely die without our immediate help. These innocent people are at the top of Joni's and my Christmas list this season. 
I pray you'll place them on yours as well. Our goal is to send our Sudanese brothers and sisters 60,000 pounds of nourishing food along with another 2,000 survival kits and life-saving medicine. A gift of just $40, two $20 bills, can provide an entire family with a gift of hope. Just think, what a generous gift of $80 or $500 or $1,000 can do to help even more families this Christmas. Plus, you'll be helping keep our Bridge of Hope efforts and breakthroughs broadcast spanning the globe with the love of our Savior. So please, when you're making out your Christmas list and choosing just the right gifts for your loved ones, be sure to remember God's children half a world away. They're not dreaming of a shiny new toy or a pretty dress this Christmas. They're simply praying they'll make it through another day. For their sake, write to me today with your very best Christmas gift. Or to get your gift to me even quicker, call the toll-free number right there on your screen. Or go online right now with your gift of life for starving children in Sudan this Christmas. Thank you. Multiplied thousands of Sudanese Christians are coming home for Christmas. And almost certain death. After two decades of war, drought, and famine, there is no shelter, no food, no water, no medicine, and no hope. But you can give the gift of life and hope this Christmas to an entire family who have nothing but a prayer. A gift of just $40 will help provide medicine, the means of survival, and up to a month's supply of nourishing food. It's the gift of a lifetime for a family who has absolutely nothing. A gift of $80 will help save the lives of two families and keep our Bridge of Hope missions and breakthrough television spanning the globe with the love of Christ. Do your part to help save a child's life this Christmas. Call, write, or go online today. We now return to the Sanctuary of World Harvest Church for the conclusion of today's riveting message, Born to the Kingdom, for such a time as this. Here's what Paul said to Nero. Nero said, Paul, I'm going to put your head on the chopping block. I'm going I'm to separate your head from your shoulders. I'm going I'm to kill you, Paul. And Paul said, really? Really? You going to kill me? Touch my mind. I can't touch this. You going to kill me? You, you going to stop my dream? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Paul said, is that right? <laughs> How are you going to kill a dead man? <laughs> watch this, watch this. I am crucified with Christ. If I share with him in his death, I share with him in his resurrection from the dead. I have eternal life in the kingdom. Now sit down, I got to talk to you. I just got I got to talk to you a minute. I got to talk to you a minute. Psalm 2. That's why I got this other Bible over here. Psalm 2. Here it is. Here it is. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Against the Lord, against his anointed saying. And they say, let us break their bands asunder. See, because you've been, you've been trying. You've been. You've been trying to get free from the devil. But you don't understand. The devil has been trying to get free from you. See, because you don't, you don't even understand it. We don't know. We don't know what a pray is. We we pray is for some tangible, some tangible attack that we saw and that we knew about, and then that he brought us out of. See, what you don't understand right now, right now, is that you're being born again in the kingdom. Right now, cancer. See, you ought to be shouting for the not the cancer you got healed from, but for the cancer that you didn't ever have because you in the kingdom. See, yeah, my God, we got to get, we got to get beyond a healing line and find divine life
we got to get beyond people making us depend on them. I need you to lay hand on me, but would you lay hand on me? Would you just reach out here and touch me a little bit? I need a little bit of what you got. I need this. Oh, just oh, oh, touch me this a little bit. Touch me. Woman grabbed a hold of my hand one time. I'd preached for two and a half hours. She grabbed a hold of my hand, stuck it on her forehead, and said, What you getting? What you getting? What you getting? I said, a sweaty palm. I ain't getting nothing. I'm not your source. I'm not your mediator. I'm not your go-between. A lot of what we got going on in the so-called church is idolatry. Let us break their bands asunder and cast their cords from us. Where did I leave my Bible? Let us cast their cords from us. I gotta talk to you a minute. Talk to you. Cast away their cords from us. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't I didn't really know why I was laughing until I looked at the next verse. He that sitteth in the heavens shall. <laughs> you miss me. Now you miss me. Because you think about God. See, but you born of God. See, 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 see. See. <laughs> Paul said, <laughs> Paul said, Paul said, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't judge me by what you see. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. My arms shackled to the wall. Oh God, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. <laughs> you, you got such a Charlie Brown mentality. What? Why is everybody always picking on me? Why did God let this happen to me? How did I end up in a situation like this? How could the Lord let this happen to me? Hey, hush, hush. The Lord didn't let nothing happen to you. He instigated the whole thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. He that sitteth in the heavens, his feet are shackled. The sewage sludge of Rome is running around his feet. And you know what he said? You know what he said? Stand up, preacher. You've just helped me preach all day. What, what did it say? He, he hath, said, I'm seated with him in heavenly places. He, well, wait, 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 wait. He hath raised me up. Yes. Wait a minute. He's underneath the roadway of Rome. He's looking up at the bottom. He's looking up at the bottom. Shake somebody's hand that's looking up through the bottom. Go ahead. Shake somebody's hand that's looking up through the bottom. Shake somebody's. I got to talk to you. Shake somebody's hand that's looking up through the bottom and say, Don't judge me by what you see. Because I'm in the kingdom. And he has raised me up. And given me joint seating together with Christ. In the realm of the spirit. That's not where I really am. Oh God, oh God, okay. Okay, watch this. Watch, watch, watch. St. Paul, say St. Paul. I got to talk to you a minute. St. Paul. Quote, though I suffer trouble, maybe I'm in the wrong crowd, I thought I, thought I 
See, because you can't perceive the kingdom unless you understand trouble. I got to find somebody who knows something about trouble. I, I know some of you are so full of faith, you don't never have no trouble. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Somebody just say, talk to us. Come here, talk to you. Okay. Though I suffer trouble, watch, watch, as an evil doer. What, 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 wait, you missed a word, you missed a word. You say he did evil. Said he suffered as an evil doer. Listen what he said. Listen what he said. You ready? Ready? ready. Are you ready? Yeah, you really sure? Are you ready? Because if I tell you this, you can't get back. <laughs> Once you hear this, yeah, God, you can't. You won't recognize yourself. You look in your rearview mirror on the way home. You know, who's that? <laughs> God's about to change you. Here, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk to you. Watch. Though I suffer trouble, see if you read your Bible more, you'd know where I was going. But you can't finish the verse for me. Though I suffer trouble as an evildoer, yet, yet, watch, 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 I got to talk to you. The word of God is not bound. That means if I can get a word on it, trouble can't comprehend me, can't grasp hold of me, can't, can't set its hand on me, can't, it can threaten me, it can threaten me, but it cannot defeat me, for greater is he that is, I gotta talk to you a minute, I gotta talk to you a minute, I don't mean to wear you out, I don't, I don't mean to wear you out. I hear that, you know, just, you know, you want to be my partner. Well, this is what God does to me. For hours. And if you mess around me, it's going to get all over you. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. He that sitteth in the heavens, shout, that's me. Shall laugh. Because the joy of the Lord. Watch, watch what he does then. Then shall he speak. I got to talk to you unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure and say watch what he says yet have I set my what what does a king have what does a king have dominion a domain yet have I set my king where where upon my holy hill Zion Watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch, watch. Who's he talking about now? He's talking about a royal priesthood. First Peter 2 9. He's talking about a holy nation. That you should show forth the praises of him that has called you out of darkness and into watch light. What? Watch. That man, that woman. I will declare, shall speak. The decree. Anybody know what a decree is? It's a law. I will speak the law of the Lord. Watch, 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 watch. Here's what God says to you. Thou art my son. Watch what he says. Look what he says next. Look, 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 look at it. Go ahead and look at it. Go ahead and look at it. Read it to yourself. Look at it, look at it, look at it. This day have I... Somebody say right now. Somebody say right now. I'm being begotten. No, no, right now. You still don't get it. Right now, I'm being begotten. Right now, I'm being born again, again. Right now, I'm being born of. 
If you're being born right now, how do you have a past? So whatever had a hold of you a moment ago, they're not getting it. I got to talk. I got to. I'm going to have to talk some more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to talk some more. See, you, you, you have like, okay, I got born again. And then pain, despair, agony on me. Poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world of woe. And then someday... I'll be in the kingdom. The kingdom is, the domain of the king is wherever the king Carpe diem. Seize the day. Seize the moment. For when the man meets the moment, you're so bound by time. You're so bound by the limits of time and space. Because you in a moment now you ain't ever been in before. And in this moment, he called you his king and said you had dominion in this moment. Therefore, whatever had a hold of you before cannot possibly be having a hold of you right now. When you, when, but it will, it, will, it will keep a hold of you until you are able to perceive the kingdom. See, so you can see it. But you can't see it until you get a word. Because when you get a word, then that you are begotten of that word. Are you in John 3? Okay. How can a man be born? That's what Nicodemus asked in verse 4. How can a man be born when he is old? Okay, he's going to answer that question. Back over in John 1. Are you in John 1? Remember we were talking about the light? Remember we, we were talking about the light? And the darkness comprehended it not, could not grasp hold of it? Watch, John came to bear witness of that light, but he was not that light. Look at me. Okay, I got five minutes left. Look at me. Look at me. Jesus said, a man, a prophet, never lived greater than John. Is that what he said? Never lived a prophet greater than John. But he that is the least in the kingdom is greater than John. John came to bear witness. There cometh one after me to bear witness of that light. But he was not that light. That was true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came to his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, which were born not of blood. Touch somebody and tell me you can't get this from your daddy, and you can't give it to your kids. You can't get this just because you go to church. Now watch, I gotta, I gotta hurry. Watch, watch, watch. Just not of blood, no, nor of what? Shout it. Nor the will of the flesh. Somebody say, you can't get this just cause you decide to. See, it's not about your decision, it's about his decision. I can't go there. I gotta talk to you. Watch. And not born of the will of men, but what? But of God. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Oh. 
<gasps> Genesis 1 1. In the beginning. Wait, 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 wait. Remember I quoted to you John 1 1? First words in the New Testament. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's a replay of Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, God. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Yes? Verse 2. And the earth was void and without form and darkness was upon the face of the deep. But God said, I got to talk to you. I got to talk to you. You're supposed to be born of God. You're supposed to be born of the incorruptible seed of the Word of God. And you're not supposed to be have been born of it. You're supposed to be being born of it right Tell somebody, tell them I got to get born again again. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Can you handle it? Can you? Can you? Can you handle Can you handle this? Okay, because I'm about to freak you out. How did the Bible say God created the heaven and the earth? Hey, he spoke it. But when God created the heaven and the earth, since he is light, did he create it in darkness? It became dark. <laughs> Something happened between Genesis 1-1 when he created it and Genesis 1-2 where darkness was upon the face of the deep. The God of cosmos, order, saw his world plunged into chaos. Cosmos became chaos. Isn't that what happens to you? You have an epiphany. You have a moment with God. Everything is right. Because you were born. In that moment, ain't nothing wrong when you're born. It's a whole new world. Yeah? Yeah? But then, darkness. Chaos. Wait. But in steps the king of order. And declares his kingdom. That's the reason he said, if you really want to know how to pray, pray like this. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, my. This, is, this is good. Touch somebody and tell them this is going to get really good right here. Okay, watch this. Watch this. It's in your Bible. It's amazing. Watch this. <laughs> watch. 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 Who are they? that are thus born, that's my question, born of God. It says, not born of all this stuff, but born of God. Who are they? Well, look, 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 look up at verse 11. He came to his own, and his own received him not. This is the angry refusal of a world of chaos to accept the king of order. You didn't hear one thing I said. I preached, I preached all morning just to get right there and you didn't get it. No, you didn't get it. Watch it. Watch me. Watch me. It was the, he came to his own and his own received him not. But they stayed in darkness. They rejected the light. Watch, 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 watch. It was the angry refusal of chaos to accept the king of order. 
and say thy kingdom come my body's out of order but thy kingdom come my mind is out of order but thy kingdom come my family's in chaos but thy kingdom come and that's what we're doing with the center of moral clarity our nation is out of order because it refuses to accept the light because men love the darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil but when the true light shows up the darkness cannot comprehend you didn't hear what I said okay okay it's, it's about to get better it's about to get better he came to his own verse 11 and his own received him not who are they that are thus born according to verse 13 born of God well it's not those who the angry refusal of the king of order by the world of chaos it's not them it's not them it's not them he came to his own and his own received him not but look at verse 12 and shout the verse word but to as many as would receive him to them gave he power no, 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 no. You're, you're thinking about getting born again back there when you, you know, nailed in an altar somewhere and accepted Jesus. No, 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 no. To as many as would receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. I will say unto thee, thou art my son, in this moment have I begotten thee. Right in the midst of the chaos have I given birth to you. You were born to raise hell. You know, you don't understand what I'm telling you. God put you in America for such a time as this. He set you down like Esther in your family. You have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. It's the Christmas season, and a mall should be enjoying the carefree life of a teenager like my own daughter. But a mall is mature beyond her 17 years. She's not thinking about which gift to purchase for her children. She's struggling just to keep her children alive. A mall risked death in the desert to break free from the chains of slavery so her children could grow up in freedom. She and her children are among the multiplied thousands of refugees and former slaves who are returning to their homes in the South and almost certain death. The land has been utterly decimated by war and man-made famine. Amal and her children have absolutely nothing. Her home has long since been destroyed and most of her family have been murdered. She and her children don't even have a cup to hold a life-saving drink of water or a simple blanket to cover them in the harsh desert night. Amal had a choice to make, and so do we. Will we be like so many around the world who have chosen to simply look the other way? Or will we choose life for families like Amal's who have little hope without us? Our goal is to rush urgent medical supplies, 60,000 pounds of food, and 2,000 survival kits to save lives this Christmas. A gift of only $40, two $20 bills, will help save the lives of an entire family who have nothing but a prayer. A compassionate gift of $80 can help save the lives of two starving families like Amal's and keep our mini Bridge of Hope outreaches and breakthrough broadcasts strong around the world. Can you imagine what a gift of $100 or $500 or $1,000 would mean to so many in Sudan today? So please, don't let families like Amal's die this Christmas. Call, write, or go online today with your very best compassionate gift for God's children half a world away there is no shelter no food and no hope but you can give the gift of life and hope this Christmas to an entire family who have nothing but a prayer a gift of just forty dollars will help provide medicine the means of survival and up to a month's supply of nourishing food it's the gift of a lifetime 
for a family who has absolutely nothing. A gift of $80 will help save the lives of two families and keep our Bridge of Hope missions and breakthrough television spanning the globe with the love of Christ. Do your part to help save a child's life this Christmas. Call, write, or go online today. Hello, I'm Sergeant Tierra Fincher, and as a soldier in the U.S. Army, I have been trained for the battlefield. And as a World Harvest Bible College graduate, I've also been trained to be a sold-out soldier for kingdom advancement, not only on these shores, but the shores of Iraq. So as a graduate of World Harvest Bible College, you just don't learn it, but you live it every day of your life. So please call the number on your screen or log on to worldharvestbiblecollege.org. God is sounding the charge for an all-out assault on the kingdom of darkness and calling you to do the works that Jesus did and more. At World Harvest Bible College, you'll not only receive sound biblical instruction, but hands-on training to equip you to be a sold-out soldier on the front lines of kingdom advancement. Don't wait another moment. Call or go online today. This is a Center for Moral Clarity moment. Pastor Rod Parsley, founder and president of the Center for Moral Clarity, has endorsed the National Council on Biblical Curriculum in Public Schools, an advocacy group encouraging school districts across the nation to establish elective classes in the Bible. More than 300 school districts in 35 states, comprising more than 1,100 high schools, now offer an elective course in the Bible. The Council offers a curriculum guide that allows instructors to teach the Bible without preaching. Pastor Parsley said school districts across America should add an elective Bible course to its high school curriculum. It's hard to imagine a complete education that doesn't account for the influence the Bible has had on our nation's literature, history, and culture. The Center for Moral Clarity features details about the course and contact information at its website. The Center for Moral Clarity, defending truth and shaping culture. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, our Breakthrough Prayer Warriors are here to believe with you for your miracle touch from the Lord. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 20, Jesus declared, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And as you can see, we don't have just two or three Breakthrough Prayer Warriors, we have a virtual army of men and women of faith who are anointed and ready to pray you through to your breakthrough 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can call toll free from wherever you are. We serve a prayer answering God. If you have a need in your life, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone and let a faith-filled breakthrough prayer partner agree with you for your every need to be met in Jesus Christ because your miracle could be just a phone call away. Breakthrough with Rod Parsley is the media outreach of Bridge of Hope and World Harvest Church, advancing the kingdom of Christ through firm biblical morality, compassionate outreach to those in need, and equipping the body of Christ through the Word of God. Breakthrough is made possible through the faithful support of covenant partners and friends in this viewing area.